Investors are always nervous around election time due to uncertainty of just what a democratic process might throw up. They often adopt a wait-and-see approach before making any major decisions. And this is what seems to be happening in South Africa, with the property sector especially interested in what the new government will present in terms of policy and taxes in the coming weeks. Whenever people wait for the outcome, a lot of times people miss the boat. So the, the, the market in South Africa is very susceptible to the elections, especially this last one, which is so critical. And the fact that there's so much uncertainty about what was going to happen post-election. But that, that always slows things down. The, the, the guys are, are scared to lend money because they don't know if they're going to be able to pay it back. The property market, though, is set for a rebound after a disappointing 2023. With elections over and more clarity expected in the next few weeks, many are hopeful the economy is in a position to power full steam ahead. A lot of uh, developers have said, well, listen, let's just wait and see. Let's see where the political situation ends up. Um, so, you know, if it, if it turned for the positive, then th developments that are, are fairly marginal suddenly become, you know, become doable. Good day. The Reserve Bank, too, is expected to start its rate cutting cycle later this year, which is likely to add to our property market rebound. I'm hoping that the, this government of national unity and whatever uh, the president and all his friends manage to put together stabilizes everything. I think everybody is. But we will only know after it's done. So you can be nervous for another couple of days. South Africa's real estate market has been in a slump in recent years. However, looking at all the signs and the stability that this new government is expected to bring, experts sense a major rebound with the property sector expected to reach $1.2 trillion this year. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg.